So what can the readers expect from Extreme Destroy? Uh, a lot of interaction with uh, other characters of, of the different teams, like Youngblood, uh, New Men, which will now be the New Force, uh, Prophet, Supreme. When we hit the main crossover like this, is a chance for readers to see all their favorite characters come together for one major storyline. Why do you think the apocalypse and the theme of the end of the world is so popular in comic books? We as humans, I think, are obsessed with our own mortality and the fact that when we die, you know, the world keeps going on without us. And I think that that's why most cultures, I think all cultures and all cultures in mythology, there's always been sort of an end of the world scenario. I think we're just sort of adding to that. With the apocalypse, it's something that's out there and you know, we haven't gotten there yet. So it's fun to imagine what it is. Are aliens gonna come and harvest us? Or are these uh, Terminator robots gonna come back in time to uh, kill some little kid to keep something from happening? I think that's one of the, the appeals is just imagining just what it could be since we don't exactly know just yet. Now, do you think the end of the world is close or is this just millennium paranoia? Only in Western culture, millennium sort of holds its significance because I think we like round numbers. So if we put the year 2000, you know, something bad's gonna happen here. But in a lot of older cultures, I don't really think that the year 2000 has the same significance that we've given it. I thought millennium paranoia was fear of Han Solo's ship because it's always breaking down and you can't get the little hyperdrive to work. So, you know, I haven't really put much thought into it. Mm.